How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel here. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this new Nothing Air 1 for the first time in our channel. So here, we got this package, so let's go ahead and quickly see what we got inside of this box. Well, here as you guys can see, we got the transfer looking Nothing Air 1. Now, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it with all the Apple devices that you might have. So you can have an iPhone, iPod, or an Apple Watch, iPad, and the Mac. Well, second of all, we're gonna show you and we're gonna give you some ways, especially if you can't connect your Nothing Air 1 with your Apple devices at the end. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so first I got an iPhone here, so let me just go ahead and connect this Nothing Air 1 with an iPhone. Now, in order for you to connect your Nothing Air 1 with your iPhone, first you need to have an app. So, in order for you to download apps, you need to open up your app store on your iPhone. Now you need to tap on search and type Air 1. And here, you're going to find out this Air 1 application right on your app store. Just install it. Alright, so once you got the application installed on your iPhone, just simply tap to open that. Now make sure to tap on allow and tap on start and here it says join our improvement program. You can join them or you can join them later. So I'll tap on later. Now tap on continue to pairing. Now tap OK and make sure to just open your case from your Nothing Air 1. Well now you'll be able to see your Nothing Air will come right here. Just go ahead and tap on there. Well, it says enable the Bluetooth. You can tap on go to settings and make sure your Bluetooth is actually turned on. After that, just get back here. Now go ahead and tap on continue. Now just tap on start and now you're ready to go. Alright guys, now your Air One is ready to be used. You can listen anything you want. And this is how you can connect your Nothing Air One with your iPhone. So let's go ahead and get to know how you can connect your Nothing Air One with your iPod Touch. First, you gotta open up your settings on your device here, and now you wanna choose Bluetooth. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on, and while it's searching, you need to just open up the case from here, and you gotta wait a bit unless you see the device is coming over here. Now, if you see, well, the device is not coming up, you can simply press and hold the button here, and then you'll be able to see the device will be available on the Bluetooth section of your iPod Touch. So we got our device right here, now go ahead and tap on there. Well, now your Nothing Ear is connected with your iPod Touch and it's ready to be used. Now you can listen to anything you want and this is how you can connect your Nothing Ear first generation with your iPod Touch. So let's talk about how you can connect your Nothing Ear with your iPad. Well, connecting to your iPad is super simple. You gotta follow exactly the same process that we did before on our iPhone. So here again, you gotta install the Nothing Ear 1 application on your iPad. You want to open up your App Store on your iPad and then you want to just tap on search and then you want to just simply type Air 1 and hit on search. So this is going to show you the Nothing Air application. You got to tap on install. Once you got it on your iPad, just tap open. Now let's start with nothing and it's going to give you the instructions. So I'll tap on allow here, tap start. Well, you can join their improvement program, but I'll join them later. Now you can pair it, just go ahead and tap and continue, tap OK and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on on your iPad. At the same time, you should open up your case while it's searching your device. Well, it should automatically get your device on your iPad. Just tap on nothing here, now it says connect to ear. So we already turned on the Bluetooth so you can tap and go to settings. Now after that, just switch back here, now you gotta tap on continue. It's just setting up your nothing ear, tap on start and now you're all set and now it's connected with your iPad. Let me just move on and show you how you can connect the Nothing Air 1 with your Apple Watch. Now here we've got an Apple Watch right here. So first thing that you wanna do guys, make sure you open up your case and make sure it has enough charge. Now once you make sure that it has enough charge, the next thing that you wanna do on your watch is you wanna just open up your settings on your device and now you wanna scroll down to your Bluetooth, okay? Just go ahead and tap on there and now wait for it unless you see your devices appearing right here. Now if you see it's keep searching but your device is not being able to find by your Apple Watch, then you want to grab your Air 1 and then you want to press this uh, button. Just go ahead and press and hold it and then you'll be able to see your device will appear on your watch. So here it says nothing Air 1 so I'll tap on there to connect it. 
So voila, now it's connected and I can hear or listen anything I want directly from my Apple Watch. So now let's go ahead and learn how you can connect your Nothing Air 1 with your Mac. Okay, and in the same way, if you have a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, or Mac Studio, it can follow exactly the same process to connect it. First, make sure your case is open and it has enough charge. After that, on your Mac, first, you have to check your Bluetooth settings. Now, if you don't find out your Bluetooth settings on top here, you want to click on the Apple logo, go to System Preference, click on Bluetooth, and here you'll be able to see your device will appear right over here. Now, if you don't find out your device is popping up over there, grab your device and just press and hold the power button unless you see the nothing your device showing up on this section. Now, click on connect here and just in a moment, your device is going to be connected and will be up and running with your Mac. So now let me go ahead and play quick music to see whether it works or not. Alright guys, so this is how you guys can connect your Nothing Air 1 with your Mac and this is how you can do it. Alright guys, so let's talk about the connection issues with your Nothing Air 1. If you found that you can't connect your Nothing Air 1 with your any Apple devices, then you can follow some simple ways to solve your problem. Now first, make sure your device is enough charge and you should open the case in order to put your device into the pairing mode so that you can connect it with your Apple devices. Right after that, if you found well your device is not showing up on your Apple devices, then all you want to do, you want to do a little workaround for your device itself. So just go ahead and press and hold that power button and keep it holding unless you see the color actually start blinking on your Nothing Ear 1. Well, once you see it's just start blinking, then go ahead and let go of the button and now just try to connect your device to your Apple device, then it will get automatically connected. Alright guys, so this is how you guys can connect your Nothing Air 1 with your any Apple device you have. At the same time, if you have any problem with your Nothing Air 1, this is how you can solve it as well. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.